Hi, this is Steve and Peg from Loves to Travel. Thanks for joining us. Today, we will be learning how to make perfect rice. Before we get to that, please hit the subscribe button and bell notification so you'll be notified of our uploads. So how do you make perfect rice? Well, there's a couple things you need to have when you make perfect rice. One is the rice. Second is the rice cooker and a few tips on how to make perfect rice. Those are the three things on how to make perfect rice. Each rice cooker cooks slightly differently, so you will actually have to figure out the rice cooker on the perfect settings to make sure you get perfect rice. Now the rice itself actually makes a big difference also. You will always want to buy rice that you can afford for your budget. Our favorite is actually this California Supreme. I call it the pink rose rice. We get it at Costco. This 25 pound bag was about $30. You could also buy it at Oriental Food Stores. You could buy it at Oriental or International Sections at your local grocery store. So this is the California Supreme Cocoa rice. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's 25 pounds, but this is the rice that we like. So how do you make perfect rice? You have to measure the rice correctly. How do you determine how much you need to measure? Well, what we do is we come, the rice cooker comes with a cup. This cup is actually really, really important because this actually tells you how much rice to put in a rice cooker. One cup, basically is the rule of thumb per person, unless you have people in your household that don't eat as much. So we have four people in our household. We only have two large eaters and two smaller size eaters. So we actually do three cups when we're making rice. Okay, now we're looking at inside the bag of rice. So here's the cup. So you basically do one cup. I'm putting in the rice cooker. We're actually going to do four cups because we want extra rice. Because we you actually use it for meals for the next day. Two cups. Three cups. Four cups. So this is the rice, four cups of rice. And inside the rice cooker, there are actually markings inside the rice cooker. There they are. This will actually show you where the cup line is. So this is a four cup line the six cup line, the eight cup line, the 10 cup line. So this is a 10 cup rice cooker. Our rice cooker is an NHS 18. We got it for about $45 on Amazon. So here's the rice now. So. What you have to do before you could even start cooking, you have to wash the rice. So why do you wash the rice? Washing the rice basically gets off the dirt, the outside starchy part of it. So we're gonna show you how to wash the rice. Okay, so how do you wash the rice? We actually have water off to the side. Put it in there. That's on the left side. Swirl it. And 
you want to drain it off. I'll make sure there's no rice that falls into the sink. You can use your hand to block it. So you're washing the rice. You have to wash it two times, two to three times. You have to wash rice two to three times for about three cups. If you want, need to wash maybe three times for four cups. So you rinse it. You want to get it so it's clear. Roll it one more time. A few times. So you want to get it so it's not cloudy. Are your towel still cloudy? So that's my third time. And this should be one more. My last time. Just want to put cold water into it. And we're doing it four. So the trick is to actually put a little bit more than four. So let's see how it looks. So you can see the bottom of the rice now. No, we have to do it one more time. But it's still not the way you like it. Put a little bit more water in it. Wash it again. It does take a few minutes to wash it. Okay. So this should be the final one. do you put in well this has to go to the four you have to put it level i always do it a little bit more to the four so you can see the rice at the bottom it's not as cloudy so it says to go to the four we always do just slightly above the four because if you don't give it enough water it's going to be too dry So we prefer to give it a little bit more than four. So we're going to add a little bit of water to it. Not much more. Just to give it a little bit more. There. So then you basically, this one actually has a see-through one. Now all you do is basically plug it in. And then in front of it, there's a keep warm button and cooking. Just basically hit the button. Now it's cooking. It takes about 40 minutes, is what they say, and we will show you as it cooks. Okay, so you see now the 
rice has popped to a warm position. So there it is now. So what we actually need to do now is let it sit for about 10 minutes. You want to let it sit for about 10 minutes. And we'll be back in about 10 minutes. So we waited about 10 minutes. And I'm going to show you the rice. There it is. Perfect rice. That is how you make perfect rice. Thanks for watching.